Let's well, go. We are going to move on to okay. a different topic around you're sick. Yes. You have the flu or something's going I, on. It's been working on me and it's getting. Okay, we're going to talk about this. Watch out over here. Uh, billionaire Microsoft founder Bill Gates is warning uh, that we're vulnerable right now to a flu epidemic. Speaking to the BBC, Gates said that too much regulation could stop the world from reacting to diseases that spread quickly, like the flu. He cited regulatory and liability issues and organizational boundaries as potential roadblocks to effective emergency response, which is a nice segue to our next segment. It is flu season. Our next guest says that the virus may threaten more than your immune system. It's having a major impact on unnecessary and economic productivity. We want to bring in Nate Jones. He's the founder of Clear. And I want to tell you, we don't do infomercials here. We don't do sponsorships or endorsements. But, but I actually wanted <laughs> him to come on. I don't know him. We don't but. know each other. But this man may have changed my life. I used to get sick. All, and I may get sick next week, so this I don't want to overstate the situation. But... But every year, I used to get colds constantly, uh, 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 upper respiratory things. I'd go and I'd have to get antibiotics and all of that. Mm -hmm. It's been about seven and a half months, which for me is like a really long time to not be sick at all. And what happened in that time, and this is what you may think I'm a quack, is I started taking this, your stuff, which is basically saline water, right? Correct. Uh, with some xylitol in it, which is a little bit of sugar. I spray it up my nose twice a day, once in the morning before the show, once at night before I go to sleep, and so far, zilch. And I'm over the moon about it, and I tell everybody that I can about it, so we decided to have Nate on the show. Nate, I tell people that I do this and they think I'm crazy. What, tell me what's going on, what is in here? Um, that, that might be helping me? The, well, there's a number of things. There's the salt's in there, but the xylitol's a big thing. The xylitol, when you use a regular saline spray, it's 0.87% salt, which is, it's, it's uh, isotonic. Right. And so it'll, it'll get your nose moist for a little bit of time. You're, I don't want to get too gross, but it gets your snot layer, your mucus layer moist for a short time period. There's about a 10% solution of xylitol in there. And so what it does is it's much more hyperosmotic. It's going to keep your nose moist for a much longer period of time. It's going to allow your, the, the mucus layer in your nose that cleans the air you breathe. It's going to allow it to trap a lot more of the viruses, the bacteria, the dander, the pollen, and get them washed out naturally. The way that your body's meant and designed to be cleaned. So how many times a day do you use this? I'm just curious. Once in the morning, once at night, just like what you said. Do you? Yeah. And then, wait, hold on, I'm just curious. No, you have to understand, this is like a big you thing. You look so much healthier. I, no, I, I feel yeah. healthier. Yeah. It's a whole, the whole thing is crazy yeah. that I'm just squirting the stuff up my nose. I tell people I'm squirting stuff up my nose. They get, you know, they get a little nervous. Well, but, um, and then I say it's the sugar though. It's, it's, so this is a form well, of sugar. It do is people sugar, know? but. And dentists use it? Dentists use it. They recommend it. But what it is, it's, it's a sugar, but it's different than the sugars we eat. Most of the bacteria that live in our mouth, that live in our body, our upper airway in our right. nose, they live on six carbon sugars. Sucrose, glucose, fructose, sorbitol, mannitol, maltitol, all of those are six carbon sugars. Even the sugars that are in most sugar-free right. chewing gum are six carbon and sugars. And I try to explain to people, this isn't like Afrin or anything like that. It's a no. whole other situation. But just tell me, is there anything bad going on? Is there anything bad in here for me? I, no, seriously, because think I think anything that's, gonna that's actually yes. working for me uh, could be a problem. I have read some stuff, if you take too much of this, not this product, but if you were to ingest like 50 milligrams of this a day in rats, uh, they, well, I think if you ingest anything in rats that, that amount, you can get cancer. But there, there have been certain, certain things on that. Well, tell me about that. Uh, well, there, the, the, there was one study that was done in, in Australia where they said the cancer, but that's actually been disproven numerous okay. times. If you do eat a lot of it, like Joe said, you will get diarrhea, but you'd have to, eat a lot of it. you have to eat a lot of you'd it. You have to eat a lot of it. You have to eat a lot of it. Keep eating the sugar-free gums. But like, sugar, this isn't sugar-free gum as well. Yeah. If you go into a health food store, almost all of the gum that you're going to buy is going to be sweetened with. Is anybody else doing this? Putting nasal stuff? spray? Yes. Put, putting uh, in no, nasal we, spray. We own the patents on putting it in your nose. Uh huh. But there is a. How did you decide to do that? My dad did. I I was working on oil rigs in the Gulf of Mexico when my dad came up with it. He read on, he, he had a bunch of kids in his practice who were having ear infections, recurrent ear infections, and he started getting on this new called thing called the internet back yeah. in the 90s on PubMed, <laughs> and he saw all these dental research studies where the kids were using the xylitol chewing gum, not only were they not getting cavities, but they were also getting 42% fewer ear infections. And he read another study, you know, after digging into that a little more, where it actually showed that the xylitol reduces the ability of the bacteria, strep mutan, or strep pneumo, Homophilus influenzas, Maricella, all these bacteria that live in your upper airway that cause a lot of these upper respiratory problems, 
but it keeps them from adhering to the tissue. So do you do this preventively? Can you also do this, like can Joe start doing this if Joe doesn't and maybe now, see results? Yeah, right. I haven't Will he get better? Or? He should, and the, he, and the, and the whole process of, of, if you understand the biology of it is, a bacteria or a virus gets inside your tissue, right. inside a cell, replicates inside there, and then that cell bursts, and that bacteria spread. And it, when it, that bacteria bursts and the bacteria are going to spread, they're going to have to go attach to other tissue and repeat that process. And what xylitol does is it helps break that process up. It helps stop their. So he's already sick, though. So we that's can. That's because he's not using our product. No, no. What's a, I use? I mean, I had. This is an lot. MIT scientist, right? right here. So you ask the question. I mean, I don't know enough to you be don't, dangerous. I mean, you don't have any the, the FDA. I mean, the, this is not an FDA it's, thing. It that's is. what I mean. Yeah. yeah. I because mean, in order, that, but, in but order, no. But do, do you have anything that says that, that proves that this is actually effective, or it's just? I mean, that's it, why I said it, I could be a quack. That's, that's what I mean. Well, no, there's. No, what, what, what do I use? What is flonase? Is that what it is? What's flonase? Yes, flonase is totally different. Because that's totally different. That's been phenomenal for me. It's totally different. It stops allergies. Is that a steroidal? Yeah. Yes, that's a steroid. And, and, and this is without steroid. But correct. what you're saying is that the mucus layer is, is, stays longer and a little thicker, which thinner, which, th thinner. moist, moist, moist. But it, it and, and it screens out more pathogens. That's correct. basically your claim. That to, is correct. To okay. And, and the thing with flonase yeah. and all of Nothing your antihistamines here. Nothing fancy. No, but it's working totally. Well, so, so I wanted the viewers to know it's so, so, okay. so do kids. Placebos. Yeah. Yes, placebos. no, it's invented. Yeah. No, no, and I, I, my, I give it to my kids too. I just hope this is all good, you know, this is all good. <laughs> but see, can I, can I, just because you're using Flonase, um, you, you know, those are, those are drugs. Mm -hmm. No, you, you should. Even if you're using Flonase, you should use this because yeah. the, the drugs, the steroids, the antihistamines, the decongestants like yeah. Flonase, Afrin, Zycam, all of these other drugs, they're made, they, 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 do do their, they do do yeah. their job, but right. their job is actually to shut down your immune system. It's to stop your body from producing mucus and everything you're breathing in now will go right down into your lungs. Right. Joseph, so, I want you to try this. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it right now on the air. Here we go, you ready? Hold on. People have all done that. They don't need to see you do that.